Taste the power of vinegar to unlock the flavor potential of your next cocktail. Tina's standing by with the Gypsy Cowgirl to tell us more. All right, we got Bambi Porter, who is Gypsy Cowgirl, and she's so happy she has a lot of classes now. Hi, Bambi, how are you? Hey, Tina, I'm doing really well. Thanks for having me back. Of course, and this is like use of vinegar and making vinegar drinks. You're calling it shrubs. Shrubs, yeah, so shrubs, it's not anything that I invented. This is actually a drink that probably originated in the late 1700s and was very popular in the 1800s. Okay. Super simple to make, and the ingredients are just so easy, okay? All you're gonna do is take one part fruit, one part honey, and one part vinegar, okay? okay. So, to, to this jar right here, I took about a cup and a half of strawberries. I sliced them up. Okay. And then I used a cup and a half of um, honey, mm -hmm. which is workman honey. It's a local honey, so that's a super good thing. And then I took my apple cider vinegar with the mother. If you don't have that kind, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just use regular apple cider vinegar. Okay. And um, you combine all the ingredients together, muddle them up, right? Yeah. And then you just let it set. You're going to let it set for mm, one to four days. You could put it in the refrigerator. Just let it do its magic, all right? Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to get a jar. You're, you're going to strain all this out, but for purposes of TV today, you're going to strain out. I'm going to strain out about a third of a cup. Now, I made some for Sean a few minutes ago. Sean, Sean, what did you think? What did you think? Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. He he was so excited oh. about it. And then you're going to take some sparkling water or club soda and put that right on top of that. So if you're mm. somebody that doesn't, that maybe drinks a lot of soda pop, this is a really great way to um, get off the soda pop train mm -hmm. and do something a little healthier. And uh, I also... I also made an apricot version. So any Ooh. kind of fruit works. Do it. All right, give and me the, the ratios up again. On my soch. One to one to one. one so to if one you one. use one cup of strawberries, it's one cup of honey, and then one cup of vinegar. Mm -hmm. Easy. And you if make you that don't, easy. yeah, if you don't have vinegar, you could use, you know, sugar. That's fine. But I encourage you to use honey because it's pretty delicious okay. and a local honey at, at that. Well, you have an upcoming mm -hmm. class. Cause in your future? I do. I do. So June 11th, I have a salsa class. So it's not the salsa class <laughs> that you would learn to dance. Okay. This is actually a salsa making class, and we're going to water bath can it so you can take advantage of what's in season, can it up, and serve it all year. All right. Gypsy Cowgirl Kitchen. Look for mm -hmm. it on social media. Thanks, Bambi. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. Yep. There we go. Back okay. See you then.